welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back for another video if you are new here thank you so much for watching I hope you subscribe to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be showing you all of my 2019's favorite makeup products if you like these type of videos keep watching first I'm going to start out with foundations I know two of these foundations I've showed in a previous video, favorites video. Oh, and the first one would be my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I know I showed this one in a video, but this is my favorite one. I've used this all year long. And I'm in the shade Cashew. And then the next one is the Becca Evermatte Shine Proof Foundation. And I also showed this one in the same video, which this is another one of my favorites. I like it because it is a matte foundation and you can use it winter and summer. Also, the double wear, it's not matte, but it is long wearing. And I like to mix these together. They are really good together. And then the Next one would be my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation and I am in the shade Caramel and I really like this when it is actually empty I have got to get me another one so that lets you know right there this is one of my favorites this year. I really love wearing it especially in the summertime because it keeps you super matte and I, can, I usually use it by itself. Or with the, it's really good with the primer, the Can't Stop, Won't Stop primer, which is one of my favorite primers in this video. Then the next one is a new one. I haven't shown this one, and this is the CoverGirl Outlast Active. I never did do a haul video with this one in it, but I really like this one during the summer it's um it is a 24 hour foundation it is sweat proof it has spf 20 in it and i'm in the shade golden tan but i'm sure you can wear it all year round but i wore this one a lot in the summer and i really like it and uh next ones we're going to do is primers and of course my first primer is the Rimmel Stay Matte and I showed this one in a previous video I think this one was also in my favorites video and it is a really matte primer and I use it with any foundation that I use I love this one the next one is the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business now this one is not a matte is more of a it's skin smoothing so it um, smooths skins and skin and blurs flaws to create the perfect canvas helps extend the wear of your makeup long lasting weightless feel so it is like really smooth I really like this one if I can hold on to it then the last one is of course the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop and now this one is a really matte primer. It's, it, it works I think perfect with the foundation but as you can tell I have been using it all the time so I use it with any of them. The only thing about this primer is I figured out I found out if you like rub it together and pat it on your skin then it, it's really good other than that when i first tried it it left like a white cast and i didn't at first i didn't think i was gonna like it but i kept using it and now this is one of my favorites the next we're going to start out with is concealers which of course is my l'oreal infallible um full wear concealer now this one was in one of my haul videos and I use this one all the time. I use it every day. And my, I'm into shade Cashew in this one. 
Rico. I really like that one. And then I have, of course, my Revolutions Conceal and Define. And this is in C12, which I also use this. I mostly use C12 to prime my eyelids for my eyeshadows. But I use C6 and I have been using the C5.7. And the 5.7 is more of like a yellow concealer and the C6 is it's lighter than the C12 so I really like all three of those but I didn't want to put too much in this video I think I have enough right now and the next items are going to be setting powders my three favorite setting powders the first one is the cover FX which I know I showed this one in a favorites video and this is in the shade light which I don't have any more of this so that tells you right there that's a favorite and the next one is the Laura Mercier it is the secret brightening powder and I know I showed that one in that same video and as you can tell it's almost gone I use these all year long just them two together, it's perfect. And I have recently started using the, I started using it maybe the last couple of months and it is the Bella P Pierre Banana Setting Powder. And this is a really good one. This is I think the best banana powder I have tried. And this is what I am using currently. But like I said, I have been using it for the last couple of months. And it is, has become one of my favorites. But the next is going to be setting sprays. Which two of them I showed in my favorites video. And it is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Which I just did a haul showing a new one. Oh, this is a really good one. I love it because it's more of a mist and it doesn't leave your face wet looking. So I love this one. This is my favorite. Then my other favorite will be the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which I am low on this one because I really love this one. Now this one is the best to set your makeup with. So that's another favorite. Then the last one is the CoverGirl Outlast Active Cooling Setting Mist. And like I wore this one a lot during the summer. It is also sweat proof and it works really good. I like the foundation and the setting spray together, but I use it every day with whatever I put on. It sets it, it sets it almost as good as the rest. And it was only like, I think $7 for this. And I think the foundation was only 8 But I didn't get a chance to show either one in either one of my videos. But I really like those. So I would suggest you go out and pick those up. Especially during the summer when it's hot. Then the next one I think I'm going to do is powders. My favorite powders right now or the double wear stay in place matte powder and I also showed this one in a video I really love this powder I wear it all the time all the time it's become one of my favorite favorites and then of course my Milani con conceal was perfect and this one is in the shade medium deep and then I also have of course medium moyen which I showed it in a previous video which I've hit pan on that one so that lets you know that's a really good powder but I just started using the medium deep but both of them are really good just different same thing just different shades and L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. 
which my lid is broken. I dropped it and broke the lid, so. And of course, I have hit pan on this one also because I use it every day with whatever I'm wearing. I have to put this on. I love it. It makes my, to me, it makes my makeup look really, really good. Then the next one is the Rimmel Stay Matte, which a lot of these were in previous haul videos or favorites videos, but once I tried them, I fell in love. So then I'm going to do bronzers, the Rimmel London Radiance Brick. I really like this one. I like this one especially during the warmer weather because it has the shimmer brick and mix it all together it gives you it's really pretty and it's in the shade dark i think this was in a haul video and then my maybelline master bronze it has bronzers it has bronzers and highlighters yeah two bronzers and two highlighters in it which I only use the bronzers but the highlighters are really pretty too I just haven't tried those yet but I really like this one next one would be contour palettes and this profusion highlights and contour 2 palette has been my favorite as you can tell I'm one of them is almost gone I like these the two darker shades in here I love the highlighters in this one too I use those a lot during the summer but these two are my favorite I don't never do the I call it like a banana powder but I love this whole palette and I got it at Walmart and they run only I think like five or six dollars next one is my LA colors I love makeup contour palette which I had to get out a new one because the one that I was using all year long, my favorite colors were all gone. And I didn't want to show you an empty palette. I wanted you to be able to see what the colors look like. But I really love this one. And I got these at Dollar General for like, they had them on sale for $3.50. But I don't know if they still have these and I think they do. But they had them on sale for $3.50 and I picked up several from these. That's my other favorite. These are probably the only two contour palettes that I really, really use. Next items are going to be highlighters. And the first one is the Milani um, Hypnotic Lights. I've already showed this one before but this is my favorite I love gold tone highlighters and this this made it to the favorites for 2019 and then my revolution stroke highlighter in gold addict I broke I dropped it so it broke off a little bit but it has been used quite a bit and then this is the one I am currently using and it is the Color Rain No Flash Needed. That white is hard to show up. It looks white but it's like a gold tone. And I really love it. And I am currently wearing that one. I like it because it, it it doesn't give any flashback. It's, it's just a really pretty gold. And I've been using this one ever since I got that. The next items I'm going to do is blush. And I only have two blushes to show. Which the first one is my Juvia's Place Bella Blush. Which I know I've shown that one before. I love this one. I use this one a whole lot this year. And it doesn't look like it because it doesn't take but a little bit. 
as I said before and then this one I just currently started using and it is by Tarte and the name of it is Kisses and this is a really pretty pink it's not too dark I like a kind of a light pink and that's probably one that you wouldn't have to use a whole lot because it is really pigmented then the next two items I'm going to do are my little eyeshadow pigments and these I picked up from the beauty supply store and this one is in the shade curious white I love this one it is really pretty on the eyelid and then the other one is in goddess gold and it is a really pretty gold I used both of these quite a bit this year if you follow me on Instagram you probably would see some of my makeup looks with both of these on there Mascaras. I have one mascara and a mascara primer, which the primer is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Primer. I love this. It really adds length to your lashes and it helps your mascara to stay on. I use it with lashes or without. It's better without lashes because it makes your lashes look longer. And then the mascara is the Sumptuous Extreme by Estee Lauder. I showed this one in a haul video. And this has been my favorite for the last few months. I've really been in love. This is the only one I've been using. And I have been using this one all year. Then the next items are lipsticks, which of course is my ColourPop. All of my color pop lipsticks are my favorites, but I only picked out three. And the three I picked out is La La Land. I like La La Land because it is a really pretty red. And I love a red lip. And then I picked out Know It All because Know It All is a really pretty mauve tone. And I love a mauve tone lip. And then the last one is Snowflake. And Snowflake is a little bit darker than Know It All. So I really like all three of these, but I love all of my color pop lipsticks. They are my favorite. Then the last items I'm going to show will be my favorite eyeshadow palettes. And my favorite first palette is my James Charles palette. I used it quite a bit the first part of the year and I'm wearing the look that I did that I have on now is out of this palette but this is my favorite. This is the packaging. It's and I have a video showing all the colors in this palette but this is it I love 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 all the colors in this palette but this was made it to my favorites for 2019 then my next palette would be the Burst of Colors by Beauty Gems. This was in one of my current haul videos. And I did quite a few looks over the last couple of months. Ever since my the haul video I showed this one on. After that, I use this palette just about every day. And I like this palette because it has your everything you need. Your bronzers, your highlighters blushes all in one palette and today I'm wearing the blush the tone, P 
peachy tone blush. But this was my favorite. Especially for if you like to do a lot of neutral looks. This is a good palette. And then I have three more. The next one is my The Nomad by Juvia's Place. That became one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I knew I was going to like this palette. Especially that yellow. I did a couple of looks with that yellow and that gold, as you can tell. I love this little palette. I, you can also do a look out of just that, this one palette. I love it. The next one would be the Profusions, Profusions Chocolates palette. I use this one quite a bit. I also did like a little video on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my little video showing this palette that I did a look with. And it is super cute. I love that green. Which is, have been used quite a bit. I love it. I love a green glitter. Well, that's shimmer. And that stuff, that's in, it's called Cypress. I love that. And the last eyeshadow palette is my Profusions Metallics eyeshadow palette. As you can see, I have used it quite a bit. All of them in this palette was my favorite. I think I used all of these at some point a couple of times. But I think that's all of my favorites for 2019. If you enjoy these type of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram at MissHighMaintenance underscore 33. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, share this video. Don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that you don't ever miss an upload from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!